Welcome to the craziest coffee and tool show ever. Here's the plan. I had a shed, an old wooden shed here that came with the house when I bought it. And it had a lean-to on the side, it had a lean-to at the back. Now, I've already, uh, I've already filmed taking down the back lean-to, but now I'm taking the whole side lean-to off. It'll be just the shed when I get done. And I'm gonna actually pick the shed up and turn it. And then there's a carport that's over top of you right now that, well, wanna take a look? Here, see? Yep, that's the carport. <laughs> Uh, I've ordered a new carport that's bigger, wider, and also has a building attached at the back of it. Just a small building. So, because of the size issues here uh, and, and square footage, I'm going to try to keep the shed, but I'm going to have to rebuild it. So, there's going to be some episodes on rebuilding that nasty looking shed right now. But I wanted to share the with you. This is where, this is what Coffee and Tools is doing this week is this uh, lovely shed and taking this mess down. And when it comes to taking down an old shed, there's only one way to do it. The torch. It's demolition man time. B. little piece uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get it got that last little piece to do but this uh, last little deal has got some screws buried in there under tar so I'm gonna try to get them out of there so I can get that last little piece off the building but I'm also gonna put it about six feet away from the new building that's gonna be sitting here where I'm standing right now and then maybe put like a little pass-through ceiling, uh, ceiling, a little pass-through roof over it between the two buildings, like a lean-to, and see if I can't uh, have just an area where I can keep the, uh, you know, the more trashier kind of stuff that you have a tendency to lay outside or whatever. And that'll give me storage for the junk stuff plus a uh, garden shed. And then this area here will become the tool shop for the automotive stuff. And the wood shop stays in the two-car garage with the house. At least that's a long range plan. And so right now. kind of finish that off for now of course I got a <clears throat> I got quite a little mess to clean up but uh, like I said I'll set the saw horses up and then I'll probably uh, try to clean that up the other thing I did was I raised the building a little bit already I, I was gonna wait till I got it all down but uh, I used my uh, car jack here and uh, 
was able to pick the building up it wasn't too bad and uh, put some more bricks underneath it to get it up high because eventually what I want to do is I'm going to put some elongated uh, two by sixes runners underneath the building and then I'm going to use ropes to skid and turn the building around so it's facing that way and then of course lock it back up on concrete padding I've got the site cleaned up the dog is uh, helping me by dragging weeds weeds around and inspecting the site are we okay are we doing all right yeah, yeah all right the um, I took all the aluminum stripping stuff off the uh, lean-to part of the shed uh, also took the boards down and of course all the roofing and side panels I've got them all piled up here and also piled up a bunch of uh, the 4x4s and lumber and whatever that was attached to the lean-to part of the shed so now the shed itself I've started pulling on it and sliding it on some boards now this is a long slow process because I'm inching the shed over a little bit at a time on some 2x4s and some uh, patio stones that I'm using to just shift everything around with but I'll just uh, give you a quick update show you what's going on here it's um uh, yeah she's a pretty rotten old building but we're going to do some rebuild on it anyways once we get in position but right now you can see i've i've started to uh you know just basically you can see the dirt line there that's where the shed was and that's where the shed is now it's not a very pretty shed but uh maybe we can uh, I, I think we can refurbish and probably pick this thing up and uh once we get her squared up we'll we'll make her pretty again or we'll make it useful the uh ground here is uh, a lot more solid over this this area here I might have to get a shovel and dig up that tree that little tree started and I don't know what kind of tree it is but it might be worth saving so I'm going to take a look at that and just see if we can uh, figure it out if it's if it's a junk tree or something no big deal but uh, I don't really want to destroy even a small tree if I can help it the other thing I'm doing that I haven't showed you as I've been uh, I'm gonna put some uh, two by fours together with uh, sandwich like wax and that'll help to uh, slide the shed this way because eventually what I want is I want the shed to be uh, turned completely um, I guess you'll say that corner will end up over here okay it doesn't look really like you know makes sense right now but it, it will anyways that's the update for today this is uh, day three of this insane project of trying to do something with this old shed <sighs> yeah so this is where we're at this is actually uh, day four right now uh, in beautiful Texas <laughs> and the Sun's out shining yay finally we've been overcast the whole time I've been doing this I took a chain and moved the uh, took the uh, little Jeep Wrangler I had chained it up and pulled the uh, shed to the final destination for the time being got a lot of work to do on her got to shimmer up a little bit and uh, then I'm going to uh, redo the you need to put a different roof on I think we'll raise about another foot or something and then put a decent roof on it put some nice trusses on there a metal metal roof whatever and make a half decent building out of it actually some paint wouldn't even hurt but uh, that's I think we're gonna call it stop here for the moment until we get to the next stage because really it's just all cleaning up burning off some of the junk material that was left from the job and uh, thank you for watching coffee and tools please like and subscribe and more coming up on the the old shed